Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about finding domains and ranges of the toolkit functions. All right. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So what do we have here with our functions, or what are the toolkit functions? The toolkit functions are basically the beginning building blocks of uh, the main equations that we'll be dealing with, okay? The kind of original form, the basically setting each one and what their general forms are going to look like. So our first one here is f of x equals c being a constant. That's just going to be a straight line that goes across horizontal and its domains from negative infinity to positive infinity and its range is uh, from, well, basically just the c value itself, whatever the height is, right? The next one here, um, we have a just a, a, the identity function f of x equals x, right? And this goes to the origin and its domains from negative infinity to positive infinity and its range is negative infinity to positive infinity. We have the absolute value function f of x equals the absolute value of x and its domain, you can see, is from negative infinity to positive infinity but its range starts at zero, including zero, and goes up to positive infinity. The quadratic function, f of x equals x squared, again, same domain, negative infinity to positive infinity, same range, from zero, including zero, up to positive infinity. It touches the origin there. We have a cubic function, f of x equals x to the third power. This one's a little different. Our domain's from negative infinity to positive infinity, and the range is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. We have the reciprocal function, f of x equals 1 over x. We cannot divide by 0 there, right? So we do not include 0 in our domain. So notice its shape there. And our domain's from negative infinity to 0, and not including 0, union 0 to positive infinity. And range is the same thing. Negative infinity to 0, union 0 to positive infinity there, okay? There's no value that you can plug in for x that gets zero there. So one over any number won't get you zero, so you can't have a range value of zero. The reciprocal squared function, notice is f of x equals one over x squared, similar to the previous one, but squared, and notice the domain is from negative infinity to zero, again, union zero to positive infinity. We can't type zero into this number, but nothing's going to be negative. So our range is just from zero to positive infinity, but not including zero. Square root function, okay, we can equal zero there for the domain and the range. The domain's from zero to positive infinity, including zero, and the range is from zero to positive infinity again, including zero. We're allowed to take the square root of zero. That's okay. And lastly, we have the cube root function, f of x equals a cube root of x. And the domain is including all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity, and same with the range from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay? So let's go find some domain and ranges uh, of these using our toolkit function. And let's go dive right into that. Hope you learned something with seeing them all. If you need to rewind, go rewind and look at those images. Number eight. So we're going to find the domain and range. We're given f of x equals 2x to the third minus x. So we want to find the domain and range here. Well, this is a cubic function, right? So our domain and range, really, our domain is just all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. We're allowed to plug in any value we want. And since the cubic function is going to have similar, the same range from negative infinity to positive infinity there. Okay? Let's go to another example, number nine. We have, oops, wrong one. f of x equals two over x plus one. I'm going to find domain and range. All right. <clears throat> well, what do we see? Look at the denominator. We have x plus 1 there. We know we cannot divide by 0, right? And so our function here, we cannot divide by 0. We define that. So x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 on both sides. x equals a negative 1. That's the value we're looking at. So x can be our domain. is from negative infinity here to negative 1, not including negative 1, and negative 1 to positive infinity. Okay? So to find the range, we look at our function here. 
we know we cannot, the only value we cannot plug in is negative one, okay? But any other value, plug in, we can get any other number, the only number we cannot get is zero here, right? No output of zero. If we plug, the closest, closest thing, maybe plug negative one in for x, but that's a zero in the denominator, undefined, right? So there's nothing here that ever makes this range zero. So our range is negative infinity to zero, but not including zero, and zero to positive infinity, okay? All right, let's go dive into another example here, 10. Again, domain and range f of x equals 2 square root of x plus 4, okay? This one, again, we're looking inside for the domain, the, uh, the square root there. The inside has to be greater than or equal to 0. So let's go find that. x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So drag 4 to both sides, and x has to be greater than or equal to, that's an x, a negative 4 there. So our domain, pretty easy, that's an x there we go, is just from negative 4 to positive infinity, okay? Well, how do we find the range? Well, we know the shape of this function here, all right? And so we know the limit is going to be right there at, like if there's a point there at x is negative 4. So let's go find what that y value is. So negative 4 in for x, what's f of negative 4? And that's 2 square root of negative 4 plus 4, right? That inside comes to 0, so you have 2 square root of 0, which is 0. So our range... Our range here starts at zero, the lowest value, and goes to positive infinity, and we can see that in the graph here, okay? All right, so I hope you learned something here uh, about finding domain and range and of the toolkit functions. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com